The state prosecutor says the sentence is appropriate because it sends a strong message. If public officials abuse trust, they will be held accountable. Former Baltimore Mayor Catherine Pugh walked silently away from Anne Arundel County Circuit Court after pleading guilty to one count of perjury. Would you like to make a public apology? I think she's already addressed the voters of Baltimore and is ready to pay her penance and come back and do wonderful things for the community, herself and her family. The charge stems from her willful omission of income from her Healthy Holly Children's book business. She was required to report it on her financial disclosure forms when she was a state senator. Transparency. That's the reason behind the financial disclosure forms, so that the public doesn't have to guess at what are the financial ties that our public officials have. The perjury charge, even though a misdemeanor, carried a 10-year prison sentence. Pew's plea agreement, which the judge accepted, gives her six months in jail, which will run concurrent to her three-year federal prison sentence. Pew pleaded guilty last November to federal charges of conspiracy to commit wire fraud and two counts of tax evasion. In addition to a three-year sentence, the U.S. District Court judge ordered Pew to pay $400,000 in restitution and forfeit nearly $700,000. Pew's federal prison term was postponed until the state case against her was adjudicated. Why is the plea agreement the best course of action, do you believe? In, in this case? Yes. It did not add to anything that occurred in, in federal court as far as a punitive aspect, and it was important to get this over with and, and for her to move on. Pew was charged in Anne Arundel County because her crime is linked to her financial disclosures during her time as a state senator in Annapolis. Those that abuse their positions of trust will be held accountable. That's the very reason the state Office of the State Prosecutor exists, to battle corruption within our state, to, to attack misconduct by public officials. The judge who just got the case yesterday told Pew he's saddened by what she did because he saw her as a bright light in a city with a mountain of challenges. He advised her that she is capable of a second chance in life and he hopes that she rededicates herself to the public. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.